Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a knee stretching routine. The purpose of this routine is to improve mobility in your knee as well as relieving some of the major causes of tightness in and around the knee. The only equipment required for today's routine is a band, a strap, or a towel. All right, let's get into it. All right, we're gonna go to the floor to start with a lying heel slide. So one of our classic moves here to stretch out your knees, go ahead and lie down flat on your back with your legs straight out in front of you. Now we're gonna start with your right leg and we're gonna keep your heel on the ground as we slide that heel back, bending your knee. Now your range of motion on this may not be anywhere close to where ours is. You may only be able to get halfway up right there and that's totally okay. And then slowly drag your heel and your foot forward as you extend your leg. Nice and slow and controlled on this one. I want you to try to improve your flexibility and that range of motion with every repetition, trying to get just a little bit further every time. Nice and controlled, bring it up, feel that stretch up at the top. All right, on the next time you come up, I want you to actually hold that stretch in that position. So bring it all the way up as high as you can, as high as you can. And then I want you to just go ahead and hold that stretch. Do that knee. Nice little stretch in it. And all these stretches, I really want you to try to take it to about 85, 90%. Don't take it to the point where you know, you're feeling pain, but just where you're feeling a nice stretch. And let's go ahead and start to extend that leg in three, two, one. Slowly extend it back. Excellent. Okay, let's switch. Opposite side. Now let's hit that left side next. Dragging that heel up, pulling back. And again, feeling that stretch in the knee. And on this one, you may have one leg that's uh, much looser than the other, which is not uncommon, especially if you've had injuries may be the reason why you're here to begin with, but that's okay. Just do the best you can. It's also the reason why we do uh, the legs individually and separately so that they can get the right stretch for that specific leg. Good. Nice full range of motion. Who knew that this movement could stretch your knee like that? <laughs> you can <laughs> really feel it when, you, when you're dragging your heel up. You At least I can. You definitely can. It'll, Definitely targets those knees, stretches out the ligands and ligaments and tendons inside. On this last one, I want you to come up. We're gonna do another static hold. So go ahead and get it as high as you can and hold and stretch. Good. Getting some nice quadricep stretching on this one as well. Breathe throughout. Excellent, let's do it for three, two, one, zero, and slowly slide that heel back forward. Okay, let's go ahead and sit up for the next one. Now, if you remember at the beginning, we said you were gonna need either a band, a strap, or a towel. So go ahead and grab that now. We're gonna put our legs out straight in front of us. Go ahead and bend one knee and rope that strap band or towel around in the center of your foot. And then go ahead and kick your leg out straight. So we're starting with both legs straight. Now I want you to pull back on that leg and on that foot as you bend at the knee and keep your foot and your heel in contact with the ground. This one's very similar to that last one, but it just hits it at a slightly different angle. And again, we're pulling back as far as we can. And then slowly extending, giving some resistance not just letting it go back easy, fully straighten it back out the best you can and repeat the move. So really focusing on bending that knee and pulling back from the knee. Full range of motion, keep that heel on the ground throughout. And on this next one, I want you to go ahead and pull it back and hold. So we're pulling back and just go ahead and hold that position. Feel that stretch. And again, you might just be right here today or even here, depending on uh, your specific circumstances. But every time you come back, you're gonna get just a little bit more flexible, a little bit better. 
And go ahead and extend your leg. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and switch legs. Hit the other side next. And repeat. Again, pull them back from that knee, keeping your heel constant contact with the ground and doing the best you can. Now with all these exercises, it's really just about repetitions. You just got to keep coming back, keep putting in the work and you know, you get five, 10% better every time. Well, it really adds up. So don't get discouraged if it's super tight today. That's why we're here. We're putting in the work to make the improvements. Nice and controlled. Excellent. Pulling back. Straighten that leg back out. Okay, on this last one, let's go ahead and get that static hold. And stretch it back as far as you can, whatever that is. Excellent. Hold and breathe. Keep that opposite side leg down nice and flat. And let's hold it for three two, one, and zero, extend. Excellent, okay, we're gonna need our straps again for the next one. Now, a lot of times when you have knee pain and knee tightness, it's not just your knee that's, uh, that's causing that. A lot of times it can be the muscles and that's surrounding the knee. So we're gonna go after the calves next. Uh, so go ahead and wrap it around that right foot, but this time let's wrap it at the top of the foot, close to the, your, your ball, your foot. Keep that leg nice and straight and tight. Now we're gonna do a calf stretch. So you're gonna pull back and you're really pull back on those toes. Ooh. Keep your leg down flat and don't allow it to come up here because as you bring that knee up, it's gonna take the concentration off your calf. So keep that leg as straight as you can and we're pulling back. We're just gonna do a static stretch on this one. So just go ahead and hold. This is an awesome calf stretch. It, well, you know, it's an isolation calf stretch. A lot of times when you do calf stretches, there's a lot of other muscles getting stretched, but this really hits that calf. All right, let's hold for three, two, one, and zero. Good, yeah, I felt that one too. Okay, let's opposite leg now, right into it, and feel that calf wow. stretching. Definitely feel it more on my left side. And again, totally common, and go ahead and keep that foot down nice and flat on the ground as you pull back. Excellent. And like I said, a lot of times, you know, people, you feel the pain or you feel the tightness in your knee, but that isn't always where uh, the, the problem is at. So interestingly enough, our bodies are so complex, a tight calf can cause knee pain. So go ahead and pull back for three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay. All right. So again, we're going to attack another one of those areas okay. that can cause knee pain next. We're going to stretch your hamstrings next. So from the same lying position, we're gonna stretch forward, but as we do, instead of rounding our backs, we are going to only bend over in, at, the, uh, at our hips, using our hips as a hinge and keep our backs absolutely straight and flat. So I don't like to emphasize, I don't like to encourage reaching on this one just cause then you get that. So go ahead and keep those shoulders back and just bend over at the waist, keeping your back straight, and should really feel those back, the back of your legs start to stretch. And we're just holding. And you may not get much range of motion on this one. No, at definitely all. not. That's my point. You're not going to get that long range of motion that you would get here. We really want to target those hamstrings. So keep that back nice and straight. Let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, stretch it out. Okay, next we're gonna do a patella stretch. So your patella is literally, it's, it's your knee, kneecap. And so a lot of uh, your tendons and muscles and ligaments all connect here at your patella. So a lot of times this can get tight. So we're actually gonna go ahead and loosen up your patella. We're gonna stretch it back, forward, to the left, and to the right. And again, just repeat that. Back, forward, to the left, and to the right. So you're literally just going and taking that little floating kneecap, which is your patella. And there's not a lot of range of motion in this, but a lot of times it can get tight, causing knee pain. So you just want to make sure that that is not the cause. Excellent. Loosen it up. Is it common to 
feel some pops in there. It definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> definitely is common to feel some crackles and some because pops I'm as you move some, this around. Some pops. And that's why we're doing it. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's switch opposite side now. And to do this efficiently or effectively, you really uh, need your entire leg to just be relaxed. Yeah. So I picked up on that. Yeah. So the t if you if you contracting your leg muscles in any way whatsoever, well then this is going to be tight. So we need to just have your leg in a nice relaxed state, keeping it nice and flat down on the ground. Again, going through that whole revolution, stretching side to side. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay. Next one, we're gonna lie back and we're gonna do a figure four. So this one is specifically designed to loosen up your hips as well as your IT band or iliotibial band that runs along from your hip flexor to your knee. A lot of times causes pain here in the outside of your knee. So we're gonna lie down, we're gonna kick one leg up on top of your other. We're gonna reach through your legs and now we're gonna pull this leg to you. Now, depending on your range of motion, you might be right here, or you might be able to pull it all the way down. If we can't reach above our knee, can we do right here behind the leg? Uh, if Actually, if you can't, good question. If you can't reach behind, actually just go ahead and pull from directly from the okay. shin, uh, from the shin itself. Okay. So uh, you can reach up on top. Uh, it's going to be the easiest way. And we're just pulling and we're holding static stretch. Feel that stretch all down through your IT band as well as your hip. And then let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. Go ahead and set that down. Loosen it up. Let's switch it opposite side now. And like I said, we can either reach through or if you can't quite reach through, you can go ahead and pull directly from your shin. But ideally, you're reaching through, pulling that knee to your chest. Feeling that stretch on the opposite side. And we're just holding. And again, on all these static stretches, we're taking it to about 85, 90% of what you could physically do. We want to take it to the point where we're feeling a nice stretch and we're improving mobility, but not to the point where we're causing any damage. And let's hold this one for five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, go ahead and sit up. Next, we're going to move into a lying quad stretch. So you're gonna need either that towel, band, or strap for the next one. First, we're gonna get started by lying down on our sides. Go ahead and lie down on your side. And we're gonna stretch your quad that's on top. So go ahead and take your band or your towel and wrap it around that foot. Give you a second here to wrap it around, depending on your device, your techniques can be a little bit different. And so our key and uh, cue on this one is we're trying to pull that foot back until that foot actually touches your glutes or your backside. It might not happen, but that's what you're trying to do. So we're only stretching and bending at the knee, not at the hips, not pulling back this way, but only at that actually at that knee joint. So you're pulling back, feeling that stretch up and down your quad and through your knee and we're just holding right here good making sure to breathe on all of these stretches keep constant tension as you're pulling back and again your range of motion may not be quite what ours is today and that's okay you're going to come back and keep getting better for three two one zero excellent let's go ahead and hit that opposite side next turn over so your other legs on top Give you a second to get into position here. This one can be a little bit awkward, mm -hmm. depending on the tool you're using. I think I find the best way is just to go ahead and bring that knee into you and then put it around your foot. All right, getting into position. And again, we're really focusing on only bending at that knee and not pulling your hip back at the same time or forward. Trying to best to bring that foot back to our glutes and our backside. Excellent. Make sure to keep breathing throughout. 
Nice, slow and controlled breathing. Getting a little bit better with every one of these stretches, a little looser, a little closer to your goal. Let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Good, all right. You can go ahead and come back up. And we actually are gonna need a wall for the next one, or you could really use a counter as well. Okay. But, so we're gonna come to the wall. We're gonna come about between one to two feet away from the wall and using uh, the wall to stabilize ourselves. I want you to take the leg that's closest to the wall and bring it back behind your body. I want you to set it down on your outside edge of your foot. Keep that leg straight. Now we're gonna stretch your, again, those IT bands your iliotibial bands, and we're gonna take this inside hip, we're gonna drop this hip down. So again, depending on your flexibility, is gonna really determine your range of motion. You might just be like this and feeling a huge stretch, or you might need to really get down into it, kick that leg further back, and drop that knee down. You're gonna decide which variation of this is right for you. Just remember, it's always better to start with the easier version and work your way up. So we're just holding, dropping that hip, feeling that stretch down the outside of our leg. And let's go ahead and hold this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Good. Okay, let's switch sides, opposite side next. So again, between one to two feet away from the wall, using the wall to support yourself, Keep that back leg through on that knife edge and then we're dropping that inside hip feeling that stretch down through our IT band now if you're a runner an athlete or somebody does a lot of weight training a lot of squats those IT bands are uh, very likely tight on you so this is a great move to loosen up any tightness in those iliotibial bands Go ahead and hold this stretch here for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Nice job. Thank you so much for working out with us today. If you like this workout, you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can learn more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed working out with us today, please go ahead and like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you are notified every time HasFit drops a new workout. Make sure to check out HasFit.com for hundreds of additional free workouts, free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. Also, don't forget to like us on whatever your favorite social media network is, whether it's Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. We're there and we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our pleasure. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.